beautiful day out, my friends. Coffee is ready and we're headed out. We've been over here in Cloverdale, California for about a week now and we're making the start of our trek up to the Pacific Northwest, which I'm so excited about. I haven't been there in a couple of years now. So in today's video, we are actually going to Florence, Oregon. It's right on the coast of Oregon. It's a beautiful area. The entire Oregon coast actually is absolutely amazing. But that's about eight and a half hours away or 450 miles. So we're gonna do it in two days. And it's a great day to leave because they're doing construction over there. <laughs> they're working on the clubhouse roof. We're gonna do this over two days and head somewhere over probably around Gold Beach. I'm not sure yet. We're just gonna wing it. We're gonna sightsee and we're gonna do some errands along the way. There's a couple of trees I wanna stop by. But Oregon is known for some really great coastal areas to boondock. So we're gonna find one of those places today. Tanks are dumped. Thankfully, there was no line at the dump station because I don't have sewer at that particular site. So I had to actually go and dump it over there. But my cassette toilet is the luggage one. So I can actually just carry that over all the time, which I've typically been doing. But the gray tank, you can't really do that. So that's dumped. We're headed out now. It's about, I only thought it was like five hours, but it's six and a half hours. No, six hours just north of Gold Beach where I think we're gonna be staying for the night. So I don't know if we're gonna make it there actually. That's a long drive. It's already nine o'clock, 9.45 in the morning. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. We may stop somewhere else along the road. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. That's part of the fun too of doing this is figuring those things out as we go. Van life, exploring, things seem to change quite often and you just have to roll with it. Oregon, here we come. It's gonna be a lot cooler there though. It's typical Pacific Northwest weather right now. We just had a huge problem hit the window. I can't believe it. This is the second time this has happened. Different window, but second time. Yep, that's it right there. On the passenger side. The first time that ever happened, I was driving to Alaska on a small road just like this one, two lanes, one way each way, logging truck passes me, rock flies up, crashes into the front window, except that time it was on the driver's side and went through the window. Glass flew all over me. I had to immediately stop, clean up the glass, and like you could punch your finger into it. I had to put duct tape on it to keep it from falling all apart and wait till I got to the next town, which thankfully had glass for my window already in stock and I was able to replace it that day. It was a miracle. Mm -hmm. This is the window that it was replaced with and I've been meaning to replace it for a while now because I have probably about five other dings, but nothing that big. So just waiting because it's gonna happen. I know where I'm gonna have to replace it. All right, I am officially done with trying to sightsee through the Redwood Forest. I have put in two road trippers, three different stops where there's supposed to be these amazing old, old Redwood trees that you can stop and see. And literally every single direction has sent me on a wild goose chase. No lie, I don't know what's going on. The spot that it just told me to go to was right here at this like old garbage dump place where there's like just there's nothing here there's a gate down this direction that is closed off so there's just nothing here nothing so this was a huge bust i guess you win some you lose some but i've never had that happen before look what i found I cannot believe it. I actually just looked on my Google Maps and I was like, oh, okay, it sent me all the way over here. The immortal tree is right here. So I just backtracked and found it in myself and just looked at the map. Unfortunately, I couldn't like do any commentary out there because we've got the one and only leaf blower guy out here in the middle of the redwood forest. <laughs> so 
I swear it's never ending. It happens everywhere I go. Can you believe that? 975 to 1,000 years old this tree is. Couldn't actually get over there to touch it because it's like all roped off right there. But this is Avenue of the Giants is the name of the street. It takes you through the redwoods. It's so beautiful. If you guys have never been here, you definitely have to get over here. I've been through here once before coming off of the Lost Coast Trail, which I'm going to link that right here. That was a crazy, crazy uh, scenic road that I went through. I'll never do it again in the van ever. The worst road I've ever been on in my life. The worst. One of the frequent questions that I get is, how did I make my dreams come true so quickly? So for those of you who don't know, I made all of my dreams, like every single one of them, come true within five years. Now, five years may seem like a lot to some people, but with everything that I actually created in my life, including traveling full-time, a remote position, creating a business, owning a house and selling a house, etc., all of that happened within five years. This is why I am so happy to share this class with you from today's video sponsor, which is Skillshare. This class from Jonathan Van Ness, The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self, is such a great way to start achieving your dreams. So you might be asking me, Amber, how in the world am I going to achieve my dreams by implementing self-care? The answer is, as it turns out, the more we focus on self-care through meditation, through journaling, through manifesting through journaling, and being present with ourselves allows us to get clear about our vision for our life. Implementing what Jonathan teaches in this class, like listening to yourself, releasing your limiting beliefs, and a huge one, failing and forgiving, will help to open up those paths to the next adventure in your life. There's so much more to his class that will help guide you to that path you've been waiting to discover. I absolutely highly suggest that you take this class. It was a refresher for me and also taught me some really great ideas to help enhance my already existing self-care routine. There are so many more incredible classes that Skillshare has to offer. They have thousands, like literally thousands of classes for you to choose from. It's absolutely amazing. If you'd like to learn a new skill or maybe even take advantage of this self-care routine class, then definitely click the link in the description box below. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video today, they are giving the first 1,000 people who clicks the link in my description box or uses the code STORYCHASING right here below if you see that, you will get a free month membership to Skillshare. And then after that, it's super inexpensive. You still get access to all of the unlimited thousands of classes that they have to offer. And it's ad's free. And a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. Make sure you click the link below. So now we're going to the coast. Look at that. The coast is here. Getting closer, I can actually smell the salt in the air. We are so close to the coastline right now. We're about 10 minutes outside of Eureka, California, and the temperature is drastically dropping. Coming from 70s to 80s during the day, and now it's 60 degrees here. That coastline makes a huge difference in the temperature, but I'm excited to be here. Lily, are you glad to be over here near the beach again? We made it! to Fred Meyer and this is one of my very favorite grocery stores over here. So what it is, it's like taking a Walmart, a grocery store, and a Target and smashing them all together. But it's cheaper prices than Target, better quality than Walmart. And they have organic and natural foods, which I love. Yeah. So we're gonna do a quick grocery shop here. I don't need a ton of stuff, but we just want some dinner for tonight and maybe tomorrow. Getting gas. I forgot in Oregon they actually pump the gas for you. Thank you so much, sir. And we're looking at how much is it per gallon for regular unleaded? 486. Ah! 486, woohoo! <laughs> I was paying $6 in California. 
I don't think he was too <laughs> amused with my comment. <laughs> yeah, 486. Now, who would have thought 486? I'd be saying, yeah, that's amazing because it's like $3, two, two something, $3 on the East Coast last year when I was there. Toodles over here, Miss Barky girl. What you barking for? <laughs> Why are you barking so much? All right, next stop, find a place to stay for the night. It is now 536. It's time to find a place. Sundown is in roughly two hours, but I wanna get settled and relax and it's been a long day driving. We started at 10. And those mountain passes and all the winding and stuff, like it's really beautiful and I love it, but it's also very wearing on the shoulders because you have to like constantly, your body's like this the whole way. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Google. So now it says 42 minutes. It just rerouted me back through Grant's Pass. I have no idea why it was trying to reroute me through Grant's Pass, but I don't know, Google's, something's going on with it. It was acting up in Mexico as well, but I thought maybe it was just because I was in Mexico and I had downloaded all of the offline maps for Mexico. So I can you know, use those when I don't have cell service. But it's been acting up here as well, so maybe it's not the Road Trippers app. Maybe it's Google. Wow, it's beautiful out there. <gasps> Can we to get to our spot? Okay, I'm so excited. I'll tell you a story about this spot when we get there. spot it is so amazing here I want to tell you a story about this place the very first year that I got my RV this RV the van I did this Pacific Coast Trail tour and I stopped here with my friends at the Vicara bus and we were kind of traveling down this way together and we stayed here overnight because one it's absolutely beautiful as you can see two there's a trail to walk down to the beach. And three, it has cell service here. So I, we got parked and everything. We were doing our own thing. They were cooking dinner, I was cooking dinner. It was dark outside. The moon was so bright and it was shining off of the water over here. And it was absolutely amazing. It was like the perfect moment, the perfect time, the perfect moment for me to open my door, come out to let Lily out, so dark outside, I looked up at the sky and I couldn't believe my eyes with how brilliant the stars were. And this traffic that you're hearing along the road, this is 101, so this was not happening because it was dark outside and most people are off of this highway at night because it, it's very windy and can be not a great road to be on. It was very quiet, peaceful. I looked up at the sky, I saw the brilliant stars I mean, they were so bright, I couldn't believe it. Moon, again, off of the water. Waves, you can hear it. Waves crashing against the beach. And there was a shooting star. First time, swear to God, I've ever seen a shooting star in my life. And I'm looking up at this guy all the time. Never seen a shooting star. It was beautiful. I'm like, of course, tears streaming because it was so amazing. Dinner tonight is one of my very favorite things in the whole world. Sushi. Just picked this up at the grocery store. I love sushi, it's so good. Fred Meyer actually has really good sushi. Like sometimes that grocery store sushi, not so great. Fred Meyer sushi, mm. I can't wait. Well, I don't really wanna bring a chair out here and like make myself known that I'm camping out here. I'm gonna sit inside at the bench area my door's open so I can still see out. Let's go in there. And see, we still have a very lovely view outside. 
So we'll put a little bit of Bragg's liquid amino on here. Cause this is good stuff right here. I love this stuff. It's better than soy sauce and it's healthier. You gotta get your wooden chopsticks. Yes, I use chopsticks. I don't know if you know this trick, maybe you do. You rub the wood sticks together to get all the shavings off of it because they're like little particles. And then you have nice smooth chopsticks after that. A little bit of wasabi on there. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. All right. We're gonna watch the sunset now. We'll come back to you. Isn't this absolutely amazing out here? You can hear the roar of the waves. I had to put on a lightweight sweater. I love this thing. I got this actually in um, Leadville, Colorado uh, at a little boutique downtown. It's just the cutest little shop, but it's just a little poncho that you can put over, but it sure does keep me warm on these colder days like this. So it's about 50 degrees right now. It's plummeting. As soon as that sun goes down, it's gonna be in the 40s and then high 30s maybe is what it's saying tonight. Just incredible. Another one of my happy, oops, almost fell. <laughs> and I was gonna say another one of my happy places. Oh yeah. I just love those haystack rocks. They're so majestic. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and the water splashing up around them. We've got the sea mist. Oh, goodness. Shaking your tail. What's your tail shaking for, huh? <laughs> Here we go, Nene. It's cold, huh? Oh. Did you get your jacket on? You got your jacket? Yes, it's chilly, chilly. It is time for a movie. We're watching Boba Fett, Chapter 5. I will vanquish these interlopers. You ready to go, Nene? Come on. Let's go. Hey, baby. All right, it's time for our movie, Boba Fett. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Baby of Kratos.